Hello sports fans, welcome to Super Sports Central. Today, we're going to be going over my week one college football rankings. So, diving right in, starting off at number 10, we've got Penn State. So, Penn State's got really high expectations this season. A lot of people think they could potentially make the playoffs and have a great season going either 11-1 or 12-0. I think Penn State is going to be very, very good. They're going to have a great run game and a good defense. They've got a promising young quarterback in Drew Auer. Now, the interesting thing with Penn State is they actually haven't named Drew Auer their starting quarterback, but all, uh, all signs point to him taking the reins week one against West Virginia. And as long as Drew Auer is as good as expected, Penn State should be really good this season. They check in at number 10. Number 9 is Alabama. So you probably think this is extremely low for Alabama. I really think they should be lower, but I feel like I should probably have them in the top 10, even though I don't really think they're a top 10 team. But Alabama's ranked 4th in the AP poll, 3rd in the coaches poll. But I said this in my predictions video. Make sure to go watch that if you haven't already. I'll put the link in the description. But I said it in my predictions video. I'll say it again. I will double down. I'll triple down. I will quadruple down on this. Alabama is extremely overrated. They have not named a starting quarterback, and they won't name a starting quarterback before their game against uh, Middle Tennessee. They have a new offensive coordinator, and they didn't have great production from their wide receivers and don't have a clear go-to number one wide receiver, and they're not very deep at the position. Then you move over to the defense. That's a defense that was good last season, not great, and they also lost some key players such as Will Anderson Jr., Jordan Battle, Brian, uh, Brian Branch, and Henry Toe to Now, Alabama will still be good. I, I definitely think they will be good because they're Alabama. they got Nick Saban as their head coach. They're going to be... Still a good team, but they're wildly overrated. They're not even close to a top five team. Personally, I don't think they should be in the top 10, but I feel like I kind of have to have them in the top 10. I would have them probably at 11, and instead I would have Washington at 9, but I feel like I've got to have Alabama in the top 10, so I, I put them at 9, but I still think that's a little too high. Massively overrated, Alabama comes in at 9. Number 8, we've got Notre Dame. So they're ranked at 8 because they're one of the teams that's a little underrated. They also played a game in Week 0, one of the few teams to do so. And they destroyed Navy 42-3 in Ireland. They looked great. And Notre Dame has been a quarterback away for the last several years now. And they finally have their quarterback in Sam Hartman, who was incredible against Navy. And I, I expect a big season from Notre Dame. They're going to have a uh, elite team. Great run game. Great offensive line. The defense is going to be good. And now they finally have their quarterback. Notre Dame, a very complete team. They check, they, uh, they check in at number 8. They face Tennessee State in their home opener week 1. Number 7 is Florida State, so I'm expecting big things from Florida State this season. They have a great team coming into the season. They do have a very tough September schedule, though, as they face LSU in Week 1 at a neutral site, and then they also have a game at Clemson at the end of September. But Florida State is a great team, very well-balanced, well-rounded roster, and a great quarterback in Jordan Travis as well. And I have Florida State checking in at number 7. Coming in at number 6, we've got USC. So they also played a game in Week 0. They beat San Jose State 56-28. The offense was great. And the offense will be great with Caleb Williams back quarterback. And they've got some good wide receivers to replace Jordan Addison. Now, defensively, USC brought in some big-name transfers, but their defense sure was not very good in Week 0. They allowed 28 points to, to San Jose State. That is not a very good look. And USC is going to need their defense to at least be decent before I can consider them a serious contender. I've got them at number 6. Coming in at number 5, we've got Clemson. So they enter at 5. This might be a little bit high for them, but I think they're going to be a really good team. They've got a great defense, one of the best in the country. Now, offensively, they do have a, a few questions, such as having a new offensive coordinator in Garrett Riley. But if the offense can be good under sophomore quarterback Cade Klubnik, I think Clemson should be one of the best teams in the ACC and a top 10, maybe top 5 team in the country. I've got them at number 5, heading into week 1. Number 4 is LSU. Another very complete, very well-rounded team. They bring back lots of key players, such as quarterback Jalen Daniels and young linebacker Harold. Uh, Harold Perkins. Now, LSU will have a tough task as they take on Florida State in Week 1, but I think LSU's got a great team. They enter at number 4. Number 3 is Ohio State, so they officially have named Kyle McCord their starting quarterback to replace C.J. Stroud, and he will start Week 1 against Indiana. And Ohio State is one of the best teams in the country. They've got an elite offense, although they do have some new starters along the offensive line, but their offense should still be very, very good. They've got an elite running back duo with Travion Henderson and Mayan Williams. Two outstanding receivers in Emeka Mbuka and arguably the best player overall in college football, uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. And Ohio State is one of the best teams heading into this season as long as Kyle McCord is the quarterback we all think he is. But I've got the Buckeyes ranked at number three. Number two is Michigan. So I think Michigan might be the best team in college football right now. They may have the best overall roster. They return so many key players. Key players at every position. Their run game will be great with Blake Corman, Donovan Edwards. Their offensive line is outstanding. Quarterback J.J. McCarthy returns. 
and the defense should be really, really good. One of the best in the country once again. And I think Michigan might be the best overall team in the country, but I do have them ranked at number two because at number one it is Georgia. Uh, I think Michigan is probably the better team, probably better the better roster. But Georgia's won back-to-back -back national championships, and I can't drop them from the number one spot until they lose and show they don't deserve to be in the number one spot anymore. So I've got Georgia as my number one team heading into week one of the 2023 college football season. But those are my week one college football rankings. I uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn notifications so much other videos. Predictions will be out soon for week one. And make sure to turn the notifications so don't miss that video or any other upcoming videos. Comment in the comments if you agree with my rankings, disagree, and why. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I do my best as often as possible, and I will see you in the next video.